This introductory video demonstrates the improved technique of posterior arm delivery in resolving shoulder dystocia. Posterior arm delivery is commonly illustrated in textbooks and websites with pictures such as these. However, these illustrations often show inaccuracy in its representation. For example, a downward traction is not the most optimal direction, as the anterior posterior plane of the pelvis is limited. Pulling the fetal humerus is also not effective and increases the risk of fetal injury. In addition, grasping the fetus's hand with the practitioner's fingers alone does not provide a good grip to allow for firm traction. Insertion of the wrong hand when approaching the delivery of the posterior arm can lead to difficulty with access and renders the maneuver ineffective. Some pictures and videos often show the insertion of the wrong hand in its demonstration, disregarding the fetal positioning. We emphasize several important points which will improve our technique in posterior arm delivery. Firstly, instead of downward traction, we recommend the upward traction to achieve rotation of both shoulders. This rotation disimpacts the anterior shoulder from the pubis symphysis and is a major mechanism to resolve a shoulder dystocia. The primary pathology is the obstruction of the shoulders by the bony anteroposterior diameter of the pelvis. The posterior lateral sides of the pelvis are bound by soft tissues where there are potential space for the delivery of the shoulders. Rotation of the shoulders to the oblique diameter of the pelvis facilitates the delivery, whereas downward traction can lead to further impaction of the shoulders into the bony pelvis. This video illustrates the advantage of upward and rotational traction as compared to downward traction. The second important point to emphasize is the use of the correct hand to grasp the posterior forearm. After insertion of the hand at the posterior fourchette, the hand should easily move to the front of the fetus in order to grasp the posterior arm and facilitate rotation. Therefore, when the fetus is facing your left side, you should insert your left hand. And when the fetus is facing your right side, you should insert your right hand. Insertion of the wrong hand leads to poor access and incorrect rotation. Once the wrong hand is inserted, maneuvering your hand from the fetus's back to the fetus's front is difficult, and if delivery is attempted in such a way, the risk of humeral fracture would be greatly increased. Remember, don't just use your dominant hand by instinct. Insert the correct hand according to which way the fetus is facing and be skilled with the use of either hand to facilitate different scenarios. The third point to emphasize, it is not advised to pull on the upper arm or the humerus as it increases failure and fracture risks. You should reach and grasp at the level of the forearm before you apply traction and rotation. If the elbow is extended, it can be difficult to reach the forearm. Insert your hand further in deep enough to reach the elbow. Flex the elbow in order to bring forward the forearm. Grasp the forearm and apply traction and rotation. The first video on the left demonstrates the poor technique of grasping the upper arm when delivering a shoulder dystocia with an extended posterior arm. This increases the risk of fracture and is less effective in delivering the posterior arm. The second video on the right demonstrates the preferred technique of tracing the upper arm down to the level of the elbow, then flexing the elbow to bring forward the forearm, followed by traction and rotation to facilitate delivery. Finally, the posterior arm delivery can be integrated with wood screw maneuver. If you insert the correct hand anterior to the fetal body, you may consider attempting the wood screw maneuver first. However, should this fail, there is no need to remove your hand from the pelvis. Use the same internal hand and attempt posterior arm delivery. On the other hand, if you have inserted the correct hand to attempt a posterior arm delivery first, but fail to grasp the forearm or delivery, you may use the same internal hand and try the wood screw maneuver. 
To summarize, insert the correct hand according to fetal facing direction. Grasp and pull the forearm, not the upper arm. Apply upward traction to achieve rotation of the shoulders and integrate the posterior arm delivery with wood screw maneuver. Thank you for watching. To learn more about the technique and management of emergency obstetrics, please visit our SOFI website.